are at the 2011 Bio Blitz. Bio Blitz. Bio Blitz. Bio Blitz. Bio Blitz. Bio Blitz. Well, BioBlitz is a 24-hour all-species inventory. We are so excited to have everybody here helping us count species and find out more about what's in this incredible national park. During one day from usually noon to noon, everybody will go out into a park and try to count every single species in the park. Plants, insects, reptiles. And it's done with experts, so you get as many as 150 different experts. We are going to uh, be looking for signs of animals. Now, you, do you see any animals now? No. No, you don't. But you know they're here. And they all lead the public out to count the species, so it's a huge, huge outreach opportunity. So you guys ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go look then. The cool thing is that anybody can participate in the BioBlitz, from coming to our Celebrate Biodiversity activities to going out with scientists and actually helping them find species that they can identify and count. The kids are simulating being scientists, so they have their field journals where they're walking around and they were taking notes in there today. So if we find something, what we're going to do is, because we're all scientists, we're going we're to put in this book. Our teacher puts us in a group to explore around and there's a guide to show us around, like, what type of animal tracks are those. Now, it looks like it's going up that way, right? You can tell because there's no more, there's more tracks going that way. So if it's going, it's probably going up that way somewhere. They're getting to use real life applications. So you notice the shiny scales, they're really shiny. His scientific name is Lampropeltis, and what that means is shiny skin. So when we're talking about animals in the classroom, here they're actually getting to see it in a real life environment and getting to explore and climb and do the things that we know kids love to do and help them learn. So this is fun because we can't exactly simulate an environment like this at school. They can show you the skulls and the footprints and the actual animals. I think they're having a blast. I'm pretty sure they're not going to want to go back to the classroom. A lot of the stuff that we like to look at are nocturnal. So in order to attract them, we're going to use a couple different lighting techniques. The kids are immediately engaged and excited just because they're out here, they're getting to do something new, something different. The family name is Scarabaeidae. It's a scarab. It's one of the fruit-feeding scarabs, and probably it uh, came off of a cactus. Many of our kids haven't ever been to this park, so that in itself gives the kids a lot, just a lot to hold on to and a lot to be excited about when they're learning. I got an assassin bug. It's these little bugs that are long, and they have this nose that curls up, and when it wants to catch prey, it comes out and stabs them, then eats them. You get the actual experience of feeling what the desert feels like. Things that you can only tap into by being here in person. That's a cool little moth, huh? I like the heel monster. Me too. I like the king snake. Oh yeah, the king snake was pretty cool. What we try to do is, besides give people an opportunity to go out into the park with the scientists, we also want to bring in the neighbors and people can learn more and find out what they can do once they're, they're excited about nature through the BioBlitz. So we've had a really good turnout. I think the world has really gotten out. We've also brought in different arts to help draw in the uh, artistic community here in Tucson. You see people light up all over the place, adults and kids. It's been a really great event. I think the important thing uh, that happens with these bio blitzes is it's the beginning of dialogues. And they begin to talk about, OK, well, you know, you're looking after nature. You're learning what's there. You know, you can do it in your own backyard. I would hope they would take with them awareness, awareness of the desert and the resources that the desert offers and protecting and preserving that resource. I really hope that this encouraged the kids to use community resources that we have to learn and explore and develop. So I think this just shows them they can come out here and be in nature and get to experience things that they don't in their neighborhoods. We hope that it's, you know, the beginning, uh, you know, lighting a fire of excitement. We want to inspire people to care about the planet.